So in the past few months, YouTube has been stepping up their copyright detection system. If, you've no if, you, pre if you probably haven't noticed, a lot of your videos, or my videos in this case, um, with music from live events, or past videos even, that's not been detected before with live events and audio, has been matched to third-party contents. My graduation video that's been up there since uh, September 2011 matched third-party content today because of the graduation music that it was playing. My George Mason U or George, George, George Mason University dodgeball game that I was um, up uploaded on September 11th also matched third-party content because during the game they were playing Fro Flo Rida song. Now, what's the extent to this? I, I think that sooner or later they're not going to approve these videos, but then. Then and then, then it's going to be like Sopa One. So I don't know if this is YouTube's fault or not. Uh, they've certainly been way more careful. Of their, any if you if you edit if you put a video with any sort of music, um, no matter how much you edit it, somehow they always seems to detect it. I don't get how they do that, but I mean, it's probably an automated system, and it's really annoying because it's like they take down your video first, or not? They don't really take it down. They just um, many times they block it first, and then it's you have, you have to go through this long process of submitting a dispute form, and then it takes weeks, and then they finally clear it, or they don't clear it. I don't know, but you know this, this is this is like SOPA. I know, I know SOPA didn't pass. I know Pippa and Acta. I don't know if they. I mean Pippa didn't pass, but Acta I think did pass. It's starting to seem a lot like that. Where they start, they start, they start slow by um, making your videos, your personal videos, copyright material of someone else. Um, you know, in ball game, ball games and graduation, you wouldn't think that you you wouldn't be allowed to one day post these videos. I mean, they're your videos, just because they have music, we do classical graduation music. They're still your videos. There will be a time when you can't even post your own videos to have copyright music in it so you can't use it. Can you imagine? You, you have your own personal videos and just happens to have some copyright material because everything is copyrighted. You, you go to a you go to Walmart, you, you record something, everything is copyrighted there. You go to graduation, there's copyrighted music there. You can't make um, new music for every graduation. There's a tradition to it. You, go, you, can, you record anything, everything is copyrighted. This, this pen design is copyrighted. They can take all of that down. It's just easier right now to target audio. So they're talking to my audio videos, even though they're my personal videos. And now sooner or later, I think they can, they'll be able to recognize bottle, pictures from a bottle of, for a cup of Coke. And then they'll take that down for third-party content. Can you see what is going on here? They add little by little more security measures. And whether this is YouTube's fault or not, um, I don't know. But it's just just warning you guys, I don't like it. Uh, I guess you guys are like me, you just sort of make YouTube videos and you're so passive about it. It's, uh, uh, I just don't know what we can do about this. Um, or maybe it's just, maybe they're not going to take it as far, because YouTube doesn't like, uh, doesn't like SOPA, neither does Google. Um, since, I mean, YouTube is a subset of Google, they don't like it, so maybe they won't take it the extent of SOPA, but when it comes down to it, if such a law passes, or if the government is targeting Google, Google has no choice. They have to follow the government or they can terminate them. So, just pointing out to you guys what's going on here, and see ya.